can't believe they invented it. Hello, everybody. But won't we have to pay those outrageous grocery store prices for something the farmer probably spit in? Not anymore. All thanks to the new juice loosener. <laughs> Gotta get a juicer. Please don't tell the supervisor I have the flu. I've been working with the shattered pelvis for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> stuck in quarantine and sick with the coronavirus that is exactly the situation my next guest finds himself in he was on that diamond uh, princess cruise ship in japan with his wife when his dream vacation turned into a nightmare now he's back in the u.s recovering from the virus but his wife who also has the illness is stuck back in japan he's kind enough to join us right now mark jorgensen good to have you you know, I guess what freaks a lot of people out, to your view, Mark, is the fact that it keeps popping up in other countries that for three days running now, the number of new cases in China is actually running below the number of new cases outside of China. Uh, and, and, and that bedevils a lot of people. The latest story in this country is that four uh, seemingly have the virus, and we don't know how they got it. They they'd never visited China. They never encountered anyone who had been in China uh, or any of the affected regions. So. A lot of medical types are scratching their heads on that one. Okay, it's your boy Super Mali. This is a Lysol spray made in the USA. Okay, it's almost done, so it's been around for a while. And they have a list of um, things that they say it prevents. You know, you use it to kill germs and so on to prevent the following list. And among that list, what do you see here? Human coronavirus. So, this hype about coronavirus like it's something new that we never heard of before that was just created in china and is coming to america no america the usa okay was fully aware of this virus years ago okay so don't believe the hype okay were ignored 
or silence. Let's focus on this doctor who was working at Wuhan Central Hospital. He noticed seven cases that he thought looked like SARS. That's a virus that led to a global epidemic in 2003. And in December, he posted a warning about a potential outbreak in a chat group with fellow medics. Shortly afterwards, he was summoned by police and accused of making false statements and being told he'd severely disturbed the social order. He was then given this document to sign. And while well, most of it actually involved language from the authorities rather than from him, he was told, we solemnly warn you, if you keep being stubborn with such impertinence and continue this illegal activity, you will be brought to justice. Is that understood? Underneath it, Dr. Lee wrote, yes, I do. Tremendous amount of volatility has come into capital markets around the world, uh, largely as a result of you know a few di you know distinctive phenomena. Uh, the most noteworthy, obviously, is the you know the spread of this you know tragic coronavirus. You know, it, it certainly provided a tipping point, in, you know, in, in, in the near term. Uh, you know, we would obviously anticipate that as we get more information, uh, you know, we'll, you know, in investors will be able to make better and, and more reasoned decisions. Uh, not only that will it be surrounding the coronavirus, but as we move into second quarter earnings season, getting a sense of what the absolute magnitude of uh, impact is from a corporate uh, standpoint. We'll also gain greater clarity as far as, uh, um, you know, who the likely representatives are as we move into a presidential election.